So let's say you're this guy and you want to learn Japanese and you're trying to pronounce it, but it could use a little bit of work. Konnichiwa, watashi no namai wa Boris Johnson, London Shishu des. So Boris, I made you a program that'll help you out with your pronunciation. So we have a couple of words for you. So we have sun, we have feudalism, we have rain, we have candy, and we have hello, right? So if you hit S, that'll switch through the sounds. Uh, note that, you know, there's waveforms connected to them to help you view the sound. If you hit P, Hi-yo. it'll play the sound. Hokensei. Okay, and if you hit S while you hit P, you can't switch it because you've already locked into that sound. Okay, so let's go to the first one again. Now, if you hit R, you can actually record your audio against the sound. Now, the thing with this program right now is that it's a little difficult to time it. So, uh, let's try. Hi-yo. So I don't know. I mean, I got it a little bit. So if you hit P now, it'll play both your audio and the sound together. Taiyo. Taiyo. All right. And so let's hit switch. It'll switch the audio. Let's try it again. Hokensei. I was totally off. <laughs> it, it's hard because the way I'm getting this audio is from a site called Forvo. And each of their audio clips are perfect for any other use, right? Because it's just the audio. But when you're trying to time it, it's rather difficult because, first off, this line is not perfect. Uh, The reason why it's not perfect is because these graphs are from Matplotlib. So I can't just find where the graph zero starts and plug it in the Pi game, which is how I'm hosting this, um, because that's not how it works. So I'm using the width of the graph, uh, and then I'm kind of trying to figure out, okay, where does this graph start and where does this graph end? And it's really not perfect in that sense. So if anyone knows how to fix that, that would make this line easier to help. But for right now, again, this is not a very refined program. It's a concept program. Okay. Ame. So we have that one. Unless you can try it. Ame. Ame. I don't know if I got that or not. Ame. Ame. Eh, I don't know. And I mean, obviously, you could try it with uh, Ame. So Ame. 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 Uh, I mean, maybe. Konnichiwa. 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 It completely off, yeah. So, the, the, Konnichiwa. Closer, Konnichiwa. the closer it is to the um, the start, the harder it's it's naturally going to be. Taiyo. But, um, Taiyo. Taiyo. as you can see, that was pretty off, too. But this is just a concept video, right? So, we have, if you press P, by the way, Taiyo. it'll tell you when the audio is finished. So, even if you don't have... Uh, audio, it'll it'll still finish and note that whenever i switch the audio it doesn't play my audio okay hit q it ends so how is this made i'm going to be very um brief in this because uh, again this is more of a concept video it's not perfect i might work on this more but a lot of the work is just figuring out how pi game works i'm not interested in that i already have the program that will change your audio and make the graphs uh, pi game cool but that's sort of uh, programming is not really my cup of tea. All right, so let's uh, look at the base of this. So we got these wave references, um, which I downloaded from a site called Forvo. So if you look at Forvo and you search up something like hello, right, you can get all these audio. Hello. Hello, yeah. You can get all this audio, you can download it, and I believe it downloads as a uh, MP4. And this program only uses uh, WAV files. So I had to convert them. And so I have this program here that'll do that for you. And so you can basically just read these files and it'll convert them. So throw in an audio path, throw in the path that you want out of it, and it'll convert the audio into .wav. Uh, Similarly, I have a program that will create all the images that you need. So if you do that, uh, create a .wav image, you put in an image, you put in an out path for the image, you can uh, specify a color if you want and it'll you know shoot out a, an image. And one of the issues with this is that, again, uh, I don't really like user interface programming. So this is probably not a good idea just to have a, a set graph dimension because different users have different screen sizes, but I don't know how to change that with reference to the screen size. I, I mean, I do, but it's really, it's tedious and I'm not interested in that. I have other things to do. I have finals coming up, guys. I mean, I'm a college student. Okay, let's be real. Um, so I don't care, I guess. So here's a function to get the audio link, which will be necessary, and a couple other things um, for creating the wave image graph. In fact, 
uh, actually I don't use this function but I do basically get the time length in a different way and so how you create a, a image like a graph of a wave file is that the X of course is your time the Y is going to be the actual audio signal which is like you know the, the wave image uh, and then you just kind of make it into matplotlib and I'm sent, saving it as a, a PNG and the issue with saving it as a PNG and using matplotlib even though I don't know how to do it any other way uh, is that whenever you actually bullet it onto the screen and you try to place that line you know like the line that, that shows you where the audio where you're at in the audio it's very hard to pinpoint where the wave graph starts because that's the zero point and where it ends because the image is just going to have you know the PNG right so it's, it doesn't really have any of those markers um, and even with the markers it's hard to do it relatively I, I just I tried my best okay I tried my best um, so we did audio converter we did this guy uh, audio image database is a collection of pairs and pairs is a really simple class it just it creates classes of pairs so first and second uh, you could have just used lists but this helped me organize it I think so the database basically runs through the folder for recordings the folder for wav refs and wave refs or whatever or not recording sorry the images and the the actual uh, reference audio and so it just checks if it has the same name it creates a pair so that means that there's a pair of this uh for the audio and for the PNG and same thing with everything else all right and then um, that basically creates a list of pairings even though this is called pair uh, dictionary at first it's going to be dictionary but lists are just easier to iterate through so I made a list all right basic colors I mean what do you think basic colors is all right so sprites sprites has a line sprite so the only sprite that I'm actually using that's like moving that's the line that you see um, very basic you know, I'm not a game developer, so my sprite classes are not uh, anything to really, you know, write home about. So here's all the Pi game stuff. There's a bunch of self dot stuff. I need to clean up this namespace. It works right now, but it's really ugly. Um, just go through some of the more important things. So get random pair. This should really be changed um, the name of this because it used to be random, but because there's only five audio clips. Uh, using random on you know n is equal to five you're gonna get a bunch of like threes or fours or ones or something like something boring so just looping through the audio is better uh, in like a linear sense uh, resetting the line that just resets your sprite back to the the original um, spot where it's supposed to be so each time whenever we uh, let me just show you whenever we hit s it, like even after if you play it if you had asked it, it's going to reset it back to the zero mark that's basically how that works um, create your audio image this is actually a function that goes um, th it's a threaded function I guess so you pass it into the threading module so that it runs like parallel to as your program is running it um, basically the reason why I had to thread it is because when you create your audio image you can't just immediately create it after you finish your audio and it and like you check your directories and say oh well there's a wav file in here uh because it'll it'll have this error and i think it's because like it's not fully done processing or something so if you sleep for half a second you're pretty much fine i figured that, that that'll fix it it's probably a better way but that's the way that i found out um playing audio effects is basically just another threaded function that i'm not sure if it has to be threaded actually um, but it just helps to demarcate basically if you're playing audio or not. So playing audio is now true, audio finishes false. Um, and then we're setting a timer on Pygame. So the Pygame timer is actually basically for the length of audio that you have, right? So how this works in the program is if I, had, if I press P, it's going to set a timer on the length of the audio that this is showing right now. So after that timer is finished, it's going to say audio finished. So that's what that's exactly how that works. Um, and then here's just your run function. Oh, here's your delete recordings. That's pretty important. This just deletes all the recordings um, in this thing. So each time I run it, uh, I start by deleting these recordings. And then each time you actually record again, you delete the recordings again. Uh, so make sure you I'm using send to trash instead of like the the regular like delete forever Python thing. So make sure you actually clean out your recycling bin. Uh, or whatever the trash can or whatever it is <laughs> recycling I don't know uh, because there's gonna be tons of files in there all right so then here's run just some regular text things uh, nothing too crazy basically if you hit P uh, or rather if you hit S um, it used to be C 
I thought S made more sense, I guess, switch. You could do change. I don't know. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Just change the letter here. Um, if you hit S and the the audio that you're playing, like, so, for example, whenever I play this audio, right, and I try to hit S, you can, like, ping hey, S. I can't, it doesn't work because it's, it's playing that audio, so you can't change it. Um, and then it just changes it. And if you hit R, it's going to record the audio. And if you hit P, it's going to play the audio. And for R, there's some of the, the recording, or rather for um, R, there's some of the, the playing audio code in there. I could probably clean it up a little bit. But again, this is concept video. I'm really not like a game developer. So hopefully Boris Johnson finds some use.